breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Obasanjo declares mad passion for better Nigeria as Utomi shows how to revive economy. Obasanjo declares mad passion for better Nigeria as Utomi shows how to revive economy. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, Please stay tuned as I read today's news. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo yesterday declared he has a mad passion to see a better Nigeria. He stated this when he played host to a presidential aspirant on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Muhammad Ayat Din at his residence in Abelkuta, Ogun State. He said Nigeria requires a leader who has passion, innovation and vision. Someone who possesses adequate knowledge about the challenge confronting the country. He added, When you, Ayat Din, said you are involved in this with a passion. I was telling some people with this morning that passion means madness. That you are mad about Nigeria. I am and I have no apologies for that because I have no other country I can call my home. I have no other country I can go to to and say yes, I have come to live here. Passion means being mad about Nigeria, having a touch of madness. And I look at you, I have to then and say, Yes, you are mad about Nigeria too. Meanwhile, Professor of Political Economy, Pat Utomi, has identified solution to the current economic woes plaguing the nation. Speaking on Wednesday at the meeting international conference, on innovation, entrepreneurship, and business management, organized by the University of Lagos Business School, ULBS, Utomi, explained the need for Nigeria to invest massively in technology and education of our youth. He noted, under the theme of the event adapting to business landscape in disruptive times. That the country is not doing enough in giving voices to the youth where they can play a transforming role in the technology-driven future. He said, the key driver of the new economy is knowledge. We must massively invest in educating our youth and not in conventional ways. We need coding schools. We need software engineering programs and all of those because of the internet of things will affect everything. It is our readiness for that. We are at the junction in human history where technology and the internet of things will change the way things are done before. Look at what fintech companies are doing to banks. Completely disruptive business. These applications will affect even agriculture and things we don't even see 
as technology related. Our future depends very much on how we see this getting into our culture. We must stop talking how our young people because they are our future. They are generally smart and we are not giving them the opportunities we should give them. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo yesterday declared he has a mad passion to see a better Nigeria. He stated this when he played host to a presidential aspirant on the platforms of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Mohamed Ayatuddin at his residence in Nabeokuta, Ogu State. He said, Nigeria requires a leader who has passion, innovation and vision. Someone who possesses adequate knowledge about the challenges confronting the country. He added, when you, Ayat, then said you are involved in these with a passion, I was telling some people this morning that passion means madness, that you are mad about Nigeria. I am and I have no apologies for that because I have no other country I can call my home and I have no other country I can go to and say, yes. I have come to live here. Passion means being mad about Nigeria, having a torch of madness and I look at you. I had to then and say yes, you are mad about Nigeria too. Meanwhile, Professor of Political Economy Pat Utomi has identified solution for the current economic wars plaguing the nation. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news.